Hello everyone. Welcome to yet another video on SQL interview questions. In today's video, we are going to talk about most commonly asked interview questions on joins. So, like you know, there are two tables, and you know the number of records that are expected based once you do join for all the type of join. So that is the common question that is being asked in many, many, many interviews. Okay. So let us see how our you know number of records differ whenever we are doing different types of joins for these two tables so far i am considering two tables t1 and t2 and i have records like this one two sorry one one in table one and one one in table two so one one here and one 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 here so now before i run this let us see what is the data here so we have all the matching records only here if you see in table one and table two all of the records are matching here so what will happen here first so this one from table one will not know what i should join in table two so it will multiply with all of the rows that are matching so two into three total six records we should get okay so let us see if we are getting that so i'm going to run a simple join here select star from table one inner join i am doing okay so type of join is inner join t2 on table 2 and what is the column we are matching because this is the only column i am trying to match it with that this is six records it has given okay so even in left to join what is our condition that you know we should get all the records from left table and matching records from right table but because everything is matching here, whenever the records are saved, always remember that the number of records for all the type of joins will be same. So this is one thing that you need to remember. Okay, let us write it down here. So when records are matching, in both the tables then the number of records for all join types will be same okay so that is like multiplication cross join we can say so two into three so it is giving us three so now what i'm doing is let us enter a different record here so now I want to have uncommon records, but till now we had common records, but now I am having, uh, let us insert one more thing. So in table one, I'm inserting a value two. And in table three or in table two, I'm entering a value three here. Okay, now when I run this, so we have three records in table one and four records in table two. And as usual, we have one uncommon record in each of the table. Okay. So now let us see what is the result of this. So as usual, so first what will happen? So this two will get multiplied with this three. So which means we will get six records. Plus there will be some extra records. So inner join means only common. So we should get only six records here. Let us see that we got six okay now let us analyze for the left to join so what is our left to join we should get all the records from left to table okay so which means one and one will match again with this so we should get a six plus one record for other one now let us run and see this what is happening here now see here six records from this and from two second record that was there that we got as extra the same thing for right join but in this case because this three is extra so we'll get that three as extra apart from this six common records that we have the seven records okay so one is null because it is not matching now when i say full outer join so we'll we should get i think six plus two extra eight records so one is of left to join and one is of right join. So we are getting all the records from all the joins. Now, what we'll do is 
So we have seen two use cases. One, having common data. Second, having uncommon record in each of the table. Now I want to insert a null record here and we will see what are the expected result. Okay, so I'm inserting in both the tables. Okay, so no two nulls are same. Always remember, okay. So I'm inserting in one, okay, and same into, okay. So now when I run this, so we are getting one null in this and one null in this, fine. So when I do inner join means common records only. So that is, I think six, six records we should get here because null is also excluded here. No two nulls are same, like I said. So it will not match and it will give us only six records. Now in this left to join, let us see what is the result we will get when we are merging with one null. So six we got, okay. And one two record that we have lastly inserted, that, that was uncommon, we got that record and one null. So we got those two extra records here. So eight, eight we got, okay. So, so same I think for right join also. See, three and null, okay. So let us do outer join here. So we should get all the records from all the tables. 10, 10 records we got. Okay. So this is the difference between each join with respect to the data that we have. So I hope you find this video useful. If you like it, please do comment as comment in the comment section and do share uh, because it is very important. Okay. So that's it from my side in this video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.